Hello Minecrafters out there, my name is Fabe and welcome back to another episode in the Life in the Woods world. And uh, I've just done a little bit, I mined a little bit down, let's take a look, I want to show you something anyways. Um, let's block that off for now, just in case, you never know what uh, is crawling around out there. I smelted up some iron, let's smelt that up too. Oh, I got an achievement for that, nice. Um, what we need is an iron pickaxe. Because I found something down there that I wasn't able to mine with a stone pickaxe, and yeah, I didn't know what it, I don't know what it is actually. So let's let's see if we can pick it up with an iron pickaxe. I think you can pick up everything with an iron pickaxe, at least in a vanilla game. I don't, yeah, besides obsidian. I think obsidian is the only thing that you need a diamond pickaxe for usually. So let's check out what this kind of ore. So I found this little underwater lake here, and this I couldn't mine it. It's very very slow if I mine it with a with a stone pick, so let's try an iron pick. What is it? Peridot. What the hell is that? I have not a clue. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it for a bit. And then I dug further down, down to bedrock. You can see some salt down there. Still, oh, was it here? Yeah, I dug to the side here, and I found these lava lakes. Yeah, the shaders underground. Still not the best. If you guys know um, other shaders that are really, really good. Overground and underground, let me know, but I haven't seen anything that uh, that is better than the CS shaders for for yeah above ground basically. But here, look what I found. A diamond. Just one? No, more than one, of course. Which is very, very nice, of course. Diamonds is something you always need. And another underwater lake, so let's light this place up a little bit. What is this? Bones? Iron is very important, I always can use... Oh! Oh, is that gold? Not sure if we could use gold for something, but I'm definitely gonna keep that iron here. Um, we definitely need some resources to, to survive better. And now that we have our backpack, I have enough... Oh, what's that? That was a weird glitch. <laughs> Did you see the sun through the ceiling? Wow. Um, but yeah, now that we have um, our backpack, we can store a little more stuff, so I might as well mine more stuff. Okay, let's see what this is. Can I... Oh, bones? The... What the hell? Where do I get bones from? I know... We know from the fossils and archaeology mod that you get biofossils from that, but I'm pretty sure that's not implemented here. I'm not sure if you can get uh, other items from that too. But yeah, let's grab that gold. We don't leave you behind. Is it just one? No, there's more. Come on. What is going on? My inventory full? Already? Again? It is. Unbelievable. Okay. Let's open our backpack and let's see what could we store. Let's put the peridot away, the obsidian, the glowstone dust. I don't really need the salt. Yeah, and we need a lot more leather for the, for the current plan. So my plan for today is it to craft an atlas. Because uh, they really, really help you getting around and you can mark spots on there. So if you want to find back to old places you've been to, it's extremely helpful. So, and what we need for that is a book and a compass. And that's the, the first reason why I dug down here. I wanted to get some redstone so we would be able to craft a compass. And yeah, some more iron was what I wanted. And I think I saw a little bit back there. If I'm not mistaken, just a, yeah, just just a little bit. I saw it shimmering. There it is. Beautiful rest. I should also get this coal. I am in terrible need of resources. We are still at the start of a game. So this is what I oh don't fall down there. This is one what I want to get today. Uh, of course, we still need more string for our bow. But also, I want to get an atlas. So those are the two goals for today. Let's see if we can achieve them. But let's get a little redstone. Okay, that should be enough already. And yeah, I don't really like it underground. I don't really like it uh, to cave in vanilla. So I don't like it with shaders. Even I, Yeah, I like it even less. So let's head out and check our situation. And then we are gonna go on our next adventure. In the meantime, uh, let's talk a bit about something. So, this weekend, PAX East is going on, and Fedrin will be there, for example. The creator of this mod pack, in case you don't know yet, <laughs> definitely check her out. Um, she will be at PAX East, 
and a lot of other awesome people too. So th those are the days where I'm really kind of sad that I'm not living in America, where I could just go there and have a relatively cheap flight, but from Germany or from Europe in general, it's just not affordable for a three-day convention, I think, to go all the way. Oh, let's only want to craft a compass already. Or do we want to store some stuff away? Okay, let's let's store the raw food away too. Don't think I need the feathers. And uh, I could have smelted the iron. Oh well, we have enough for now. I'm not sure if I should craft some armor already or if I should try and survive without it. Well, now we have a compass, at least something. And we need a lot more leather too, because I want uh, to have more than one backpack, definitely. And I also... yeah, we need leather for the book. I mean, we have our patchwork flash still. Horsies! You give me leather right now. I, I think we killed enough horsies already. Is it night time already again? Perfect timing. Come out of the underground at night time, so we can die during night here. Oh man, okay, let's move quick. Maybe we can find a nice place to to bring there yeah, to live the night. And we also we don't want to kill all the sheep, so we're gonna make some shears. I can already hear them. Can you believe it? Where are they coming from? Oh, there's a guy. I should probably kill him and get this uh, rot the flash, so I could make some more patchwork flash sooner or later. But yeah, let's let's move up the hill. And she had a sheep here that I saw, or these two sheep. And then we should probably just make a bed. Oh, look at all these sheep! Crazy town. We are in sheep town. And look how fast it gets so dark. It's not, 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 not funny. Okay. All right. We got enough wool for a few beds. Let's keep our eyes open. There are zombies coming for me, I have a feeling. Okay, let's take care of them first. Let's take care. Oh, yeah, you guys were uh, giving me the tip that last time I tried to get these fruits off the trees And there's apparently a lot easier way than just punching them out of the trees You have to right click first and check if they are ready and then you can just harvest them more easily. Okay bam and bam. Okay, let's see if they can sleep here Come on Why can I not place the bed? Oh, there we go. Sleep the night away. And... Ba-bam! Good morning, Minecraft! What a beautiful day it is. Alright, let's check that. Um, if I right-click the fruit... Nothing. Nothing? I think that tells me that's not ready. Is that... Are those lemons? Okay. Now I can just harvest them. Lemons! Can I eat lemons? Uh, not when I'm full. <laughs> but uh, the, the graphic could be, the, the, the little icon could be a little bit better. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave our bed here. Um, so we have a restore, respawn point. In case, in case we should die. And then we are heading west. West is where we go. And so if I die, I just have to head west and I have a, I have a decent chance of finding my stuff again, I would say. Let's get some more wool of these guys. But yeah, it's incredible how much leather you need in this mod, and I know a few people are, pl uh, for example, Fedrun, I think, are playing this mod without killing any mobs, any passive mobs, and they must have a hard time to come by all this leather you need. But anyways, I was talking about PAX East here for a bit. Oh, these trees look awesome. Um, I just watched a Goods video. Is that a mineshaft down there? There's some wood. Some sheep. Sheep are everywhere. I watched Good's video and he toured the house he rented during PAX. And I can tell you it is amazing. This house looks so awesome with an awesome view over the ocean. This Oh man, I would, I would pay loads just to live there for maybe a week with my friends. Oh, cows! Hey guys! I need you. Yeah, it looked amazing, and I was so jealous of the people who were able to go to PAX. And yeah, especially especially the Minecrackers. They are just living in this house with their friends for a few days. I think it is, this is amazing. I wish, I wish uh, I could do something like that sometime. 
just meeting a house with my friends at the ocean and just just having a nice holiday. It's amazing. Not not even packs. It doesn't even need to be a convention. It's just amazing for itself. Yeah, and I I I really jealous. Cow, you died. Some coal maybe? Huh? Do I need some? Never can can get enough. There are more of these fossils. Let's see if we can get something out of them other than bones. There was cobblestone, cobblestone, bone. On the other hand, maybe I could use some bones. Just in case I wanna... Just in case I want to... What One thing that would be nice, actually, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Oh, not my pickaxe, the sapling. Um, I'm getting distracted all the time. One thing that would be nice, actually, is if the stuff would automatically stack in the backpack as well. So if I have something in the backpack already and I pick something up, it should go automatically to the backpack and to its proper stack. That would be helpful. I'm not sure if there are backpacks that have this upgrade or something, or if it's just not not in the mod. Oh yeah, it would be helpful. Alright, yeah. Packs. Oh man. I wish I was there. But I'm not. I'm here making videos for you guys. <laughs> So I need another another sword. Um, maybe maybe Minecon will be as awesome too. But it's still, since it is in Europe, I don't think uh, I don't think that's that common in Europe that you can just rent a house for a few days. It's usually more where the tourism is big, and I'm not sure if Minecon will probably be in a in a bigger city. And. I'm not sure if that's actually possible. I, I haven't done that yet. Maybe it is. Depends on where Minecon will be. But yeah, it would be amazing. And it's a lot cheaper than the hotel too. Because you, are, you can get uh, many more people into a house. You can just share the rent for these few days. And the hotel is usually more expensive. So it's, it's a win-win for everyone. So maybe, maybe someday I will be able to do something similar. But yeah, I got really jealous when I saw this house. It looks amazing. It looked really, really awesome. Are we still going west? Oh no, we what east? Seriously, when I got when did I get turned around? Wow, that happened quickly. Yeah, it's hard to keep directions, I guess. Oh man. All right, so we got um, 14 leather, which is quite a bit. Do I have some paper? I have some paper left, and I have my compass. So let's go right ahead and craft our little atlas here <clears throat> excuse me we have a book and we need a compass and we get an empty antique atlas yeah that's the antique atlas mod um i think the atlas is the only thing that it adds but it's it look pretty cool so let's check it out how does it okay open it here we go all right what is this so i guess these different are different biomes i can move it around can I mark the spot? Add marker. Reset position. Export image. Okay. So let's check where am I. Um, maybe it's the forest, the cherry forest that it showed. Oh, don't go down there. Let's let's find our spawn point and add the marker there. So I have a rough idea where I... Bad? Oh, was it all the way back there already? Uh, I overrocked a bit already. So we were moving on and we are going to check on this. Okay, I can walk with it, but I can't turn around. Okay, we are in a forest area. Alright. It's not as accurate as the... More horses. It's not as accurate as a, as a real map, but it can handle a lot bigger area. And map a lot bigger... Yeah, way bigger area out. So it is definitely helpful. And we can mark spots that which is not... Don't... No! Oh... Oh, oh, oh no, that hurt, that hurt badly, here's our spawn point, oh, all the stuff I had on me, I don't want to start from scratch, I really don't, that's, wow, it was crazy, that fall, oh, I gotta be way more careful, oh my god, oh my god, I, I, there won't be much that survived, huh? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. If I can get down there fast enough, I have no way of getting down there safely now. Where was it? Was it somewhere around here? Did I go down here already? I might have gone down here. Yeah, I passed these horses, I remember. Was it here? I don't think it was here. <laughs> that hurt so badly. 
Or was it? No, it wasn't here. So I passed this place. Where is it? Where's that freaking hole that got me killed? Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Where's that hole? Has to be somewhere around here. You look so... Oh yeah, that's it. Look at this sneaky son of a hole. <laughs> what a sneaky son of a hole. There's some iron. Okay. Let's just... A little bit maybe. Not a single item? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? You must be kidding me. Not a single item survived. I fell all the way down here. Well, I fell into lava, I guess, but still. Oh my god. Um. Can I... Somehow... I don't think I can. Wanted to get rid of this lava. Ah, oh, what a bummer, guys. Oh my god. Ah, oh, do I have to start over by punching trees again? That's not a fun time. I guess I will have to do some work off camera. I don't want you... Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm gonna upload this video um, today already. So you guys have an, a pretty up-to-date on what I do here. And uh, let me know what you think. Do you want to see me start over from scratch again? Or do you think I should just do some off-camera work and get set up halfway decent and then bring you guys back in? Maybe build a temporary base here off-camera. And once I got my uh, nice amount of supplies back, obviously I won't be able to get everything back. But once I get a nice uh, amount of supplies back, I should bring you guys back in. That might uh, mean that it will take a while for the next... Life in the Woods episode, if I should really do that off camera, because it's a lot of work. How do I get up there without without having to use all these blocks? Let's try. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments. Um, this might be a little bit of a shorter episode due to our <laughs> surprising incident, uh, I would call it. Oh man. This has, that hasn't, hasn't happened to me in a long time. Oh, the stone is a lot weaker so we might be able to get out of here like that but yeah let me know what you think you want to see me start over again or do you do i just want should get my stuff together and then we're gonna continue exploring together but yeah let me get to the surface and then i'm gonna end up the episode here probably gonna build a little safe house around my last uh, bed now okay one two three four Get up there. There we go. And it's getting nighttime again. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so this is west. So this should be east. Man, this hole is... Look at this. How disguised it is? No chance. Oh, what is this? Are you fruit? Ooh, apple. I can use you right now. Alright, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching anyways. <laughs> if you liked it, please feel free to like on this video. I would much appreciate it. And I really hope to see you all in the next episode of the Life in the Woods mod pack. Until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.